Undertale by Toby Fox. Error says a pun when he gains his composure, and Toriel responds back with a pun. Error seems to learn that his name was Sans only just now. Toriel also says that Error sounds like Sans, which would mean Error's voice wasn't glitched out just yet. Which would make sense since we don't see errors around his body and words like current error. Error goes ahead and plays along with the Toriel behind the door, taking the place of the Sans that is supposed to be there later. Blueberry comments on seeing Queen Toriel hiding in the ruins instead of ruling the underground. Error says that in most universes, Toriel leaves so Underswap is unique in that plot point. After some talking to Toriel, he goes back into the Anti-Void because at the end of the day, it was safer, more comfortable, and predictable in its nothingness. Error begins to come back to talk to Toriel over and over again because it was a very needed change of scenery. Toriel suddenly asks if the human child is safe. Error is unaware of a child ever leaving the ruins, so Toriel rightfully freaks out, telling him not to play games, and that he has been protecting them this whole time. Toriel says she is going to leave immediately, but Error freaks out. Toriel notices the change in Sans's voice as we see errors begin to form around Error's dialogue. Error calls Toriel, Tori and there is a noticeable silence. Toriel says that she has never stated her name, questioning if this person is truly Sans. We see Toriel proceed to pass through the door, and we see a Toriel that I have never seen before. Welcome to Spectre Tale. Error and Blueberry are surprised that Toriel seems to be a ghost. Error says that he really doesn't remember the rest, so he keeps this window open to keep watching. Toriel comments that Error is in a corporeal form, asking if he is possessing a dummy. Error says that Tori was never a ghost and that he isn't the problem here, but the Sands of this universe approaches, telling Error that he isn't from this area. Spectre Sands telling Error that it looks like he has seen a ghost, but then says that they are kinda creepy. Toriel crossing her arms in disapproval at Spectre Sands for not helping Error feel comfortable. Error reaches a new level of panic and glitching as he goes down to the ground, grabbing at his face, before yelling at them, saying, Get, get away from me, you, you filthy glitches! You, 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 you don't even realize. You shouldn't exist. But it seems that Error didn't even know that he had these strings, and Specter Sands questioning if Error Sands has any ill intent, since Specter Sands has seen reports of a second anomaly pulling chunks out of this world. Error seems to be very confused, thinking he didn't say what he just said, that he wouldn't destroy the universe, that his eyes hurt. Error says that they are trying to make him the bad guy, that he didn't lie. They are the bad guy, asking if they had fun playing games with him, yelling about how much fun they are having, pulling on his strings, and then attacking the ghosts. Underswap Sans doesn't wish to see what happens next, so he wants Error to continue without him near. But Error says that he caught him, Blueberry being a dirty little liar. Blueberry doesn't know what Error is talking about, but Error tells him to cut the crap, saying that Blueberry ruined story time, saying that he was faking this whole friendship, that it's all making him sick. Error wants Blueberry to be honest with him, then saying that he destroyed everything that Blueberry loved then showing a red human soul, Underswap Chara's soul from Blueberry's universe, explaining everything Error did to get to this point with this timeline of Underswap. 
error watched, waited, and planned, so no backup plan could undo his work. Error wanting to see anger, a response from Blueberry, but Blueberry ignores him before saying that he made him watch as Error tried to kill his brother. He almost made him kill his own Papyrus. Blueberry says that he isn't going to do anything, plus he thinks that Error doesn't really want a fight. Error seems confused as Blueberry says Error is scared of him. Blueberry says that he has Mr. Murderer all figured out. Error says that Blueberry can't be serious. Blueberry says that Error's true weakness is friendship. Error glitched out, making Blueberry think that he is right. As he is about to go in for a hug, Error flings the soul away. Error states that he is done with him. Since he is having so much fun playing with Error, he has a new game for them to play. Being called, leave the Blueberry in the Anti-Void until he begs to be brought back. Now that Blueberry is alone in the Anti-Void, he keeps the soul as company as he finds a way out of the Anti-Void. Blueberry, now spending time alone in the Void, playing with the soul, pacing around the space, sitting down, dropping the soul, yelling at the white space, yelling at the soul, and even stepping on the soul, and then finally resting on the ground as we go from top to bottom. Zooming on Blueberry's face, and Blueberry can now hear the voices. We now take some peeks from the past, a post from Under Novella. Erosan's opening up a window into Under Novella, asking for an autograph from Asgoro. Asgoro seems to not like to see two more skeletons, so a mix of attacks whoosh through the window. Error says that an autograph is a small price to pay for not having him destroy their universe. Error is going to get that autograph one day, no matter what. An ask during Error's earliest memory makes Error say that he didn't ever have those types of feelings towards Toriel, but saying that he did enjoy her laugh. She was really cool, but he probably killed her. He can't remember if he did or not before leaving Spectre Tale, since he has a very bad memory. We get another ask during the earliest memory. We see Blueberry tossing the milkshake he was having as he reacts to Error about to begin his attack on the ghosts. Error has the milkshake go through a window, falling onto Underfell Sands. Underswap Sans says he is getting used to Error Sans's scary qualities, but he touches his shoulder and Error glitches out because of his phobia, and Blueberry apologizes.